Welcome to The Revampires, this is Emily, and today I'm back at the work table to draw some dull concept art. So something I've noticed about Monster High is that while they had plenty of beachy summer vacation lines, there was never a winter vacation line, and to me that seems like an obvious choice. I mean, even Ever After High got a winter line, but I think the closest thing we ever got from Monster High was Abby Bominable's snowboarding club outfit, and that was only a fashion pack, not an actual doll. So this idea of a hypothetical Monster High winter line has been rolling around in my head for a while now. And since it is actually winter now when this is being recorded, we thought it would be a fun idea to try and bring one of these to life. So I've got a Frankie Stein body that I've traced from some box art, I've got Pinterest open on my laptop, and I'm trying to get an outfit down on paper. I have to keep reminding both my mom and myself that concept art is just a concept. Obviously, most of this outfit will depend on what materials we have. This is more about getting an idea of the silhouette and general color scheme. A very important element of Frankie's design is her neck bolts, and I don't want to cover them up, which also means that I can't put her in a scarf or a turtleneck, so instead I sketch out a big cardigan-style jacket, which will look warm but still give the neck room to breathe. I'm really happy with how her boots came out. I ended up giving her steel toe snow boots with big bolts and rivets, and they feel very appropriate. And I know that we have both black and white fur to use, so I gave them fuzzy tops and pom-poms. For the pants, I wanted to make them sort of like those geometric print leggings that were really popular at one point, but I gave one leg vertical stripes and the other horizontal stripes. I really like the Frankie outfits that have that mismatched feel to them, so I wanted to bring that to my design as well. Our dog ended up pulling me away for a moment and I must have bumped the camera when I came back because now it's gonna be a little off center for a while, sorry. Here comes the part where Emily is stubborn. Um, so for this line, I really wanted to have mittens for some reason. Maybe not the whole line, but at least some characters and definitely for Frankie. I know for Monster High and Ever After High as well, they molded and painted gloves right onto the doll's hands, but I want mittens. Tangible, removable mittens. I happened to have a spare hand on the table to help me think through the problem, and I remembered something. Both Monster High and Ever After High have had oven mitt accessories, and obviously those would need to come on and off, so I thought I could just embrace that size and shape that would be required to fit the hand. Yeah, they're big, but Monster High proportions are weird anyway, so maybe I can get away with it. I thought I was ready to color, but then I had a brainstorm. The sweater didn't look Frankie enough to me, so I gave it a new belt that looks like lightning bolts. Time to sharpen those pencils. I left the eyelids uncolored for the moment because I wasn't sure what makeup I wanted to give her.
calling again to Frankie's mismatched motif, I gave her one boot with black fur and one with white. Camera, I know my roots are hideous, but please don't focus on them. <laughs> To truly be a classic stocking cap like what I'm going for, I think it needs stripes. I used light blue for the ribbing on the sweater, but I didn't like it and immediately went over it with dark blue. For the hair, I was very inspired by Frankie's coffin bean doll with that side swept bang, but again, it will depend on what Frankie's we actually have in the stock box. I know I want her to have tinsel though. It feels very appropriate to use hair tinsel in a winter themed line. So I use some metallic Sharpies to mock that in and some other details too. The silver is really reflective, the gold not so much. Now I just want to line it so it's pretty. I started using a brush pen, but I thought it was too thick, so I just grabbed a gel pen instead. For this whole hypothetical line, which I am referring to as Winter Holiday for the moment, um, I'm very inspired by the winter lines from Mycene Dolls and also the Rainbow High winter line that just came out. I definitely want some of them to have a sporty look, but others I want to look more casual and playful, hitting the snow angels rather than the slopes. Or maybe just staying cozy in the lodge. I go back in at this point to deepen some colors, but other than that, she's pretty much done. What do you think? I'm really happy with how she turned out and I'm excited for us to translate this into a doll. I'd love to know what your process is for making concept art for dolls. I've seen some people do it digitally, others on paper, or maybe you don't do anything and just jump in with no plan. I mean, that's fun too. Either way, I hope you enjoyed and you have a great day. You can support the video by giving it a like, and if you want to see what happens when we actually make this doll, consider subscribing. Bye!